Okay, let's talk about second example, uh, and it's going to be about relationships. So let's say a woman is constantly fighting with her husband. They have conflicts, you know, every day, and sometimes they get violent. Maybe they're just uh, abusive with their words, or maybe it's physical violence. So method number one would be talking. We can talk about the problem. I can teach you specific phrases. For example, I can teach this woman which phrases she can use to minimize the conflict, how to express her emotions in a calm manner without going into you know, like big fight. So method number one is to use new skills, new behavior. You actually learn how to communicate with another person when he is upset, how to say no. This is all about skills. So I will teach you how to do it. Method number two, how you can deal with this problem is to use medicine. You can take antidepressants, right? So when your husband comes, you will become the turtle, you won't have any desire to fight, you won't have any desire to argue with him, you will just say, okay, fine, if this is what you want, let's do what you want. And you're going to be calm and peaceful because your mood is will be like this. And don't take me wrong, uh, sometimes there is no way we can heal uh, without taking medicine. Um, especially with PTSD patients. So if you have a PTSD, then you need to use all three methods. You need to take medicine, you need to talk about it, and you need to face your feelings, your trauma, your pain. And method number three is to find the true reason that is hidden behind these conflicts. It is possible that this woman have chosen this specific partner because she had an abusive father. So her father was a narcissist and now she has a narcissistic husband. She is relieving the experience from her childhood. And we do this because, uh, because of two reasons. Number one, our brain, our psyche is trying to relieve the traumatic experience because we cannot accept it and we're trying to prove ourselves that we can get a different uh, outcome from the same situation so if she had an abusive father or narcissistic father who ignored her who devalued her she can find a narcissistic husband in order to prove herself that in this toxic relationship she can actually create something good and of course, uh, it's not possible because the person is narcissistic. So she will experience this pain again and again and again. The second reason why our psyche is trying to relieve negative experience is because of the fake myth or fake belief that we can control the situation. Uh, when we were little, we could not control the situation. We could not do anything. We had to suppress our feelings. But uh, the desire that I can overcome the situation by controlling it is still inside of us. So this means that I'm in control of the situation or I can be in control of the situation brings us back to recreate our childhood scenario in order to relieve this trauma. And in my private session, I would focus on your relationship with your parents. Because if you don't address the true reason, then you will end up in the abusive and toxic relationships again and again and again. The main question would be not how to fix this relationship, but the main question would be, should I stay in this relationship or can I find something better? Do I deserve a better relationship? Do I deserve a person, a spouse who can actually love me and treat me with respect? Um, please let me know in the comments if this video was helpful. Share your stories with me. I would like to help you and I would like to answer your questions. When you share my video with your friends, when you write a comment, when you click like, it really, really helps my channel. So please help me to help you and help other people and create more videos like this. Thank you for watching. See you next time. Bye.